Stress, it's something we all face at some point in our life. However, did you know that there is a massive link between stress, anxiety, and histamine? In 2022, there was a study conducted by researchers looking at the H3 receptor. This is a receptor that's located in our central nervous system. Did you know to get going in the morning, your body releases histamine, which actually helps you to wake up? Now researchers are looking at the H3 receptor with serious interest as they believe it could be a potential target for cognitive disorders. To add to this, the study in 2022 found people with higher levels of histamine more susceptible to memory fatigue, depression, anxiety, which can actually lead to more serious cognitive disorders later in life. Look, histamine is good for you as it is involved in a lot of processes in the body, but too much histamine is what can actually be bad. We hear about it all the time. In my experience, talking to histamine intolerant clients, I hear about the anxiety they feel, their concentration is lacking, and on top of that, they've been given short-term solutions, such as a low histamine diet, which helps, but then stresses them out, as they are constantly looking at foods they can or can't eat. They worry, what happens if I do eat a high histamine food? How's my body going to react? I call it a domino effect. As one part of your life tumbles, it can begin to have an impact on the rest of your health. Whilst the main way to combat this is to actively seek out ways in which to reduce stress, such as breathing, meditation, or simply stopping what you are doing, calling it a day and just think, go to sleep. These are all methods and in my next video, I'm actually going to teach you how to use breath work to reduce your stress and help you get back in control of your histamine. However, I am going to add that breathing helps significantly to reduce that stress, but you need to speak with your healthcare professional about finding the right antihistamine for your body. In addition, I would recommend working with a natural healthcare practitioner to support and look at your diet. Most importantly, you need to detox the excess histamine. Detoxing that histamine allows you to not only take control of your histamine levels, but subsequently gives you room to breathe and removes the restrictions which are actually adding to your stress. Once again, thank you for listening. And if you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you wanna learn a bit more about histamine and hear the latest research, please hit that subscribe button now and check out our website, nuvohealthcare.com.